Hi everyone, it's a shame we can't be together at the moment, isn't it? But we still wanted to share a story with you. The Good Book Company is a group who make loads of stories and books uh, for children and for adults too, based on the Bible. Uh, and they've said that we can share a story together like this, which is great. But even better, they've got 30% off in their shop at the moment, so do check that out. And if you're not sure which book you might want to buy, have a look at our church website where we've done a review of some of the best children's books that they do. But why don't we read one of them together now? Let's have a look what today's book is going to be. Today's story is The Prisoners, The Earthquake and The Midnight Song. Good morning boys and girls and welcome to today's story. I wonder if you're really quiet and listen carefully, what sounds can you hear? The person in today's story heard lots of different sounds. The story is The Prisoners, The Earthquake and The Midnight Song. It's written by Bob Hartman and illustrated by Catalina Echeverry. Listen, do you hear it? A sound, like someone sawing logs, a sound coming from a prison, a prison in Philippi. The jailer is snoring. He's fast asleep and his prisoners are all safely locked up for the night. But there's another sound. Do you hear it? It's coming from the very middle of the prison, a place from which no one escapes. And it's coming from two of the prisoners. Listen closely. Are they moaning and groaning? They could be. Their backs are bruised with the beating they were given. Their feet are locked up in stocks. But that's not it. Listen again. Are they complaining? They could be. They really shouldn't be there, you see. They were only helping a slave girl they met while walking through Philippi. They were helping her through the power of Jesus who died so we can be forgiven who came back from the dead so we can live forever and who sent his Holy Spirit so that we can follow him as our king. But her masters got angry and had them thrown in jail. Listen once more. Listen closely. Do you hear it? A simple tune, a set of words. They're singing. That's what they're doing singing songs of praise to God and every other prisoner in the jail is listening to them. Their names are Paul and Silas and they have come to Philippi to tell everyone there about Jesus who died so we can be forgiven, who came back from the dead so we can live forever and who sent his Holy Spirit so we can follow him as our King. And even though they don't deserve to be in jail, they trust God and they are taking this chance to tell the other prisoners about him. Hang on, do you hear it? There's another sound. It's a rumbling sound, a grumbling sound, a sound from deep beneath the prison, a sound rising up from the ground, a sound like a shouting chorus to their songs. It's an earthquake, that's what it is. It shakes the walls and the floors. It knocks the doors off their hinges and the locks from off the stocks. And now every prisoner is free. But then listen, do you hear it? The sharp scraping sound of a sword being drawn from its scabbard. It's the jailer's sword. He's wide awake now and do you hear it? He's crying. You see, if the jailer's prisoners escape, then he must die. That's the law in Philippi. And when he sees the doors thrown open, he is sure all his prisoners are gone. So he takes his sword to take his own life. And all he can think is how much he will miss his wife and his son and his daughter. But before he can do that, there is another sign. Listen, someone is shouting. Don't hurt yourself, we're all still here. 
the jailer can hardly believe it. So he grabs a torch and picks his way through the rubble to the middle of the prison to see for himself. And when he realises that all the prisoners are indeed still there, he falls down at the feet of Paul and Silas. There is something different, something special about these men, these foreigners who have come to Philippi with their stories of Jesus. So the jailer leads them out of the prison. And listen, he has a question for them. What must I do to be saved? And Paul and Silas have an answer. Believe in the Lord Jesus. That's how you'll be saved. You and everyone who lives in your house. Then they tell the jailer all about Jesus. Who died so we can be forgiven. Who came back from the dead so we can live forever. And who sent his Holy Spirit so we can follow him as our king. And everyone in his house listens to his wife, his daughter, his son and his servants. And listen, do you hear it? The splashing, the splashing, it's water. The jailer washes Paul and Silas's wounds and then Paul and Silas baptise the jailer in water and everyone in his household too. Then they all sit down for a tasty meal and listen, do you hear it? A simple tune, a set of words. They're singing, not just Paul and Silas, but the jailer and everyone else in his house. They're singing and praising God because now they all believe in Jesus. And listen, do you hear it? The sound of voices, millions of voices, speaking in different languages all around the world, in cities and towns, in farms and villages, in shops and factories, and yes, in prisons as well. People telling other people about Jesus and how they can be saved. The same Jesus and the same Holy Spirit that Paul and Silas told the jailer about. And listen, do you know what you can do? You can tell people about Jesus too.